The environment is defined as the surroundings in which all living things live and operate. Have you ever walked on campus and seen the dry patches of grass by the Home Economy Department? Or passed by the Vice Principal's office where the flowers are constantly being dried up? Don't you think to yourself, why do these areas look so withered all the time? And what could I do as a student to beautify these areas? Well, here's your chance. Join the St. Hughes High School Environmental Club every Wednesday, 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, where we teach our ladies to be beacons for the environment. Dos en punto. Nos vemos. Make them dance, boy Sweet Jamaica, man, I had a hell on that Me no stop love it I mean, what the world massive love it and them respect it to man. Hear this? A lot of mercy. Help me pick up Jamaica, the land of wood and water. The system might not proper, but we love the vibe, the food and the culture. Whoa, can't you see the beauty of this country? 
country Me never know a serious thing Until me reach a foreign So what a nice place we live Sweet jam down the only problem is Dollars now run So what a nice place we live Sweet jam down the only problem is Dollars now run Now with the money in your pocket And a God in your heart Crowd of people What more you want Reggae music a play a reggae artist a chant I hear some me born and me not transplant What a nice place to live Sweet jam down the only problem is Dollars now run So what a nice place to live Where will we go? When the quarantine thing done and everybody touch road Oh, me me gonna start Pull up in a fast car, yeah And a fast start Make you want the fast car We only have one planet. It's organized into almost 200 countries, which are home to seven and a half billion people living and working and playing and eating and sleeping and arguing too. Humans argue a lot. Isn't there anything we could do to try and help work things out? Actually, there's this thing called the United Nations. It was created way back in 1945, after the world had been through two really terrible wars. <laughs> the United Nations, also known as the UN, was created to try to prevent wars from happening and to help countries get along. How do they do that? By trying to make sure everyone has what they need to live a good life. Food, shelter, medicine, a clean environment, dignity, and safety. So the UN is kind of like a club? Kind of, but a really huge club. It's an organization and almost every country is a member, 193 in total. Is there a secret handshake? <laughs> no, but countries do have to pay to join. Huh, so how does the UN actually work? Well, all decisions are made by vote, including who the leader of the UN will be. That person is called the Secretary General. The Secretary General works with all the other UN members to identify problems and work towards peaceful solutions. Their job is to speak for all the people of the world, ensuring they come first no matter what decision is being made, and to always act for peace. Hooray! And what about kids? Does the UN have anything to do with us? Yes, in a big way. The United Nations created a document called the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. It outlines things all children should have or be able to do. What things are those? Like every kid has the right to be safe, to learn, and to play. Wow, the UN's pretty cool and important. You can think of the UN like the world's referee, here to make sure problems and arguments are dealt with properly and peacefully. And while the UN still has a long way to go towards fairly achieving its goals, members of the UN will continue to try and work together. With or without the secret handshake. 